As Steph Curry rose into superstar status, basketball fans around the world have talked about how they've never seen a player like him before. There's no other player in history like Curry. A guy with these type of handles who can just pull up in the defender's face and nail threes at a very high rate. This type of playstyle was never seen by anyone before. Or has it? Yeah, we've seen some great 3-point shooters before, but none of them had the combination of handles, quickness, and fast release as Curry, while also hitting his shots at an insane percentage. And he does all of this while averaging 25 to 30 points per game. How's it going fellas, my name's Andy, and today we're gonna take a look at Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, the man who was Steph Curry before Steph Curry. He was the third overall pick in the 1990 NBA draft by the Denver Nuggets. Mahmoud was a 6'1 point guard, but he did not play like a traditional point guard during that era. In the 90s, point guards were viewed as the players who should be the steady engine in the offense, calling out plays, setting up their scorers, and making the right passes to their big men. Unlike today, most point guards back then were not the primary scoring options. Of course, there were a few exceptions, and Mahmoud Abdul Rauf was a huge exception. Now, I know Steph was a much better player than Mahmoud ever was. In Mahmoud's highest scoring season, he averaged 19 points per game. His best 3-point shooting season was in 1995-96, where he shot 39% on 5.4 attempts per game. During the 90s, that was really good, but compared to Steph and other players today, it's not spectacular. However, we're just looking at his playstyle and it's very similar to what we see today with Steph. As you can see from these highlights, he has a very smooth, quick release, nice handles, shoots threes off the dribble and off screens. He was pretty much Steph Curry light. Mahmoud was also one of the greatest scorers in college basketball history. He averaged 30.2 points per game in his freshman year at Louisiana State. And up until today, that's still the NCAA freshman scoring record. Hall of Fame coach Dale Brown, who coached Mahmoud at LSU, stated that he called it a while ago. Chris Jackson, which was his old name before he changed it to Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, was Steph Curry before Steph Curry was Steph Curry. Coach Brown told him that he had unlimited shooting skills and he should be shooting the ball anytime he wants to. That's kind of similar to what we saw with Curry's development. Once his coaches in the NBA realized how amazing of a shooter he was, they just let him do whatever he wanted. Because even if he took a quote-unquote bad shot, it's still a good shot when he shoots it. Even Phil Jackson, one of the greatest coaches in NBA history, has compared Steph's playstyle to Mahmoud's. Unfortunately, he only played 9 seasons in the NBA and then played in a bunch of different foreign leagues afterwards. His most memorable moments were with the Denver Nuggets. On December 7, 1995, Mahmoud scored a career-high 51 points against Stockton and Malone's Jazz. He went 17 for 27 from the field, including 9 for 14 from 3. He was on fire for the entire game. I'm watching the highlights and his game definitely reminds me of Curry's. He doesn't have the same handles, but the finesse, the release, the crossovers, they're definitely familiar. When his shot was falling, there was literally nothing anyone could do about it. His other memorable game was on February 4th, 1996 against Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. This was the season when the Bulls won 72 games, and they were in the middle of an 18-game winning streak. Until they ran into Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, who torched them for 32 points and snapped their winning streak. That Bulls team featured three of the greatest defenders in history in MJ, Scotty, and Dennis Rodman. But just like the other game against the Jazz, you can't stop a player like Mahmoud if his shot is falling. You can only hope he misses. Although Mahmoud was a great player, he was remembered for something completely different. So in 1991, he converted to Islam, and as you know by now, he changed his name from Chris Jackson to Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. In 1996, he decided to stop standing up for the Star Spangled Banner before games, as he believed the American flag was a symbol of oppression. This caused a lot of controversy with the NBA, players, coaches, politicians, everyone was taking sides. The NBA suspended him indefinitely without pay, since they had a rule that everyone on the teams had to stand up for the national anthem. Then shortly after, Mahmoud was traded in the summer of 1996 to the Sacramento Kings. He was able to work out an agreement with the NBA though, where he still had to stand up for the anthems, but he was allowed to close his eyes and look down. He played a couple of seasons for them, but at this point in his career, he was already on the decline. By 1998, he was playing overseas for a bit, but tried making a comeback to the NBA in 2000, as he signed with the Vancouver Grizzlies. 
Unfortunately, he couldn't stay in the league for long and kinda lost interest in basketball. However, he still continued to play overseas in other countries like Turkey, Russia, Italy, Greece, Saudi Arabia, and Japan until 2011. And that was pretty much the end of Mahmoud's basketball career. It wasn't the greatest ending for a player like him, but it happens. Recently, he's been playing in the Big 3 League, so if you want to watch him play, you can check him out there. In his prime, he was one of the most exciting players to watch. Even today, if you go back and watch his highlights, the way he played was very similar to how modern point guards play today. And that's all folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.